spatial sciences really is the combined theory, practice, and technologies that enable people to address substantive issues through the lens of spatial data, measures, and modeling. When we think about health issues, when we think about globalization, when we think about um, these ideas of urbanization, and we think about issues with our environment, all of these big topics uh, leverage the science of where spatial sciences in order to assist in solving those problems. Spatial Sciences Institute was founded in 2010 and it's housed in the Dana and David uh, Dornsythe College of Letters, Arts and Sciences. From the get-go, the vision was that it would be cross-cutting in terms of how it introduced spatial sciences to students and the kinds of uh, research projects and portfolios that we built. We're an interdisciplinary group of faculty at USC. Really where our mission is at USC is to spatially enable the university is the way we like to think of it. We bring that interdisciplinary um, join of, of computer science and geography into these other disciplines to hopefully ultimately help them transform the world into a better place. Even within spatial sciences, our faculty are very diverse. We're going to have a political scientist, a, a human geographer, a biologist, and a geophysicist all within the same academic unit. My background is in spatial statistics and tectonic physics. I'm a researcher at ESRI, Environmental Systems Research Institute. I'm involved in creating new tools, especially for the spatial statistics team that a city planner can use, but also a climatologist can use. Spatial machine learning allows us to represent space in a way that generic machine learning methods cannot, so that we can actually understand a simple message, a simple story from terabytes or picobytes of data. I'm interested in studying atmospheric pollution and ocean pollution. In an ideal world, if you see pollution, uh, drop a pen and share that data with everybody uh, because know that it'll be used by someone at some point. We can actually build that cognitive system for our planet so that we can better our planet faster. I'm uh, an active duty army officer for 30 years and in that life I did a lot of work providing safe and secure communities using some of these very dynamic current technologies in the spatial sciences. I'm working with the folks in the international relations community, the folks in public policy, the folks in political science. We work on projects where we use a lot of the more current technologies and satellite imaging, so small sats as they're often used and termed, and bringing that data, a very current, real data of the world. And then from that, figuring out what's actually happening on a place of the earth that is not seen by many people. When we think about human rights violations, uh, these are ways of communicating that the decision makers so that they can make policy or take action. Some of the work that we're doing here is tracking village burnings in Myanmar as a result of the genocide that started in 2017. The places where these human rights atrocities are happening are data deserts. We don't have any data on them. What we do is take data from these new, really cheap satellites that are able to cover the entire Earth daily. We aim for our students to be able to contextualize the geographic information and the spatial information and analytics that they gain here to use geographic knowledge to affect change. We've built a series of academic programs that, that include us and complementary kinds of training. So at the undergraduate level we have a geodesign degree that's a collaboration between spatial sciences, public policy and the School of Architecture. Students also have the opportunities through spatial sciences to work on research, either through independent research with faculty or through team projects that we have in conjunction with maybe the county. I was in the geodesign major and I am now working at an architecture firm downtown. The multidisciplinary nature of the program was a huge asset for me. It helps. People make more informed design decisions, it helps craft better project narratives, it helps advocate for better choices when you're presenting to a client. I'm a scientific applications software engineer in the suborbital radar science and engineering group at JPL. I did the MS in spatial data science program. In the past, people have come to these positions from either a spatial or GIS background or they've come to it from a computer science background, where in reality they need both skill sets. 
The spatial data science degree provided me with the perfect skill set to do what I do now. We want to leave our students with a really good grounding in spatial thinking. We've helped them find the places where they can apply uh, maps and, and different physical and human data together in an, in an interwoven way. They're in the real estate industry, now they have a much better understanding of, of location, location, location. Or if they're in uh, the public health field, they have a much better understanding of how to trace an epidemic, for example. When I think of the, the sort of the grand challenges in the world, it's climate change, species extinctions, freshwater availability, and then the rising inequalities. Spatial sciences, it has a piece that has to do with theory and a piece that has to do with practice and a piece that has to do with technology. You bring in all of these other complementary fields with their expertise and perspectives on how to, how to address some of these problems. Then we have a hope of making a real difference.